Welcome to another part of the Code Trust Steel 2325 requirements videos. In this series, we will talk you through the new Code Trust Steel requirements for the period from 2023 to 2025. You will learn about the details of each requirement, the evidence expected for on applications, extending guidances, and the changes compared to the previous version of the requirements. This video covers requirement number 14, storage and integrity. It gives a summary and highlights the most important aspects, but please re do refer to the full guidelines and extending guidelines for the complete requirement text. If you have not already done so, we recommend you watch the general introduction video to this series first. The 14th requirement of Core Trust Seal is storage and integrity. It reads as follows. The repository applies documented processes to ensure data and metadata storage and integrity. These requirements cover the way trustworthy repositories manage data, metadata and digital objects in each environment and storage location that support creation and preservation processes. So why is this a requirement for a trustworthy digital repository? Well, repositories take responsibility for the creation and preservation of digital objects. They store them with multiple copies, potentially in a multi-site environment. And they use data and metadata to prevent from unintentional or unauthorized changes. So they have to demonstrate that their staff have a clear technical understanding of all storage locations and how they are managed. As previously said, evidences should cover each of the storage locations that support creation and preservation processes. This includes the strategy for multiple copies, how data and metadata are managed in each environment, but also the procedures to ensure that data and metadata are only deleted as part of an approved and documented process. The procedures for handling and monitoring deterioration of storage media are also in scope for this requirement, as well as the checks, for example, fixity checks, used to verify that a digital object has not been altered or corrupted from deposit to use. Examples of evidence include data flow diagrams covering deposit, creation and access locations, plus any access restrictions if need be. Keep in mind that these measures are not part of the technical infrastructures R15 or security R16 requirements, which cover uh, different topics. A couple of example statements are presented here to further explain what sort of evidence are expected for requirement number 14. Please note that these are samples and by no means complete response statements. The first example is not satisfactory as it contains too little information. The requirement stipulates that when repositories use fixity checksum, the checks should be detailed to demonstrate that unintentional or unauthorized changes can be detected and corrected. The second one makes it clear that fixity checks are implemented at multiple levels. In the actual response statement, a description of the checks performed at storage and object levels would have to be provided, including correction actions. The third and last one details the type of checksum used and the steps for its generation. A data flow diagram covering the different storage phases could nicely complement this. What changes have been made to this requirement compared to the previous version. The requirement is an aggregation of the measures to protect the integrity of data and metadata, R7, and the documented processes in managing archival storage of the data, formerly R9. It was clear from previous applications that these topics were addressed primarily in technical terms, so this change moved storage into in the information technology and security subsection to cover the avoidance of unintended changes to digital objects. 
This concludes the instruction on requirement 14 on the new core trust seal requirements. Similar instruction videos can be found on all the other requirements on the core trust seal YouTube channel. You can find the full set of new requirements for the period 23-25 on the core trust seal website. If you have remaining questions or would like more information, please contact Core Trust Seal using the email address shown here.